Tom Brady has been a bit of a boogeyman when it comes to the Cowboys. He hasn't lost one game yet. Let's go! I know what happens today! Here's your two choices. Do you regret saying we want Tom last week? I'm not ever going against Tom. How much do you regret saying we want Tom last week? Oh, uh, man, come on, man. <laughs> I, and neither one of these, really. I, I'm, I'm okay with what I said. I want you guys to understand the logic, because I swim always in the deep end of the pool, not the shallow end. I want you to understand, you can't win a Super Bowl without, I was going to say, facing your demons, but Jane gave me a better word, without facing your boogeyman. Which Tom Brady will show up tomorrow night against Irv's Cowboys? Mm. Oh, it's tomorrow? Irv, I'm so nervous that you forgot. Let me tell you what I mean by that. If you're a great passing team, then in order to get a Super Bowl, they're going to make you run the football. If you're a great running team, they're going to make you pass the football. This has been our boogeyman. And we're going to take him right here on the front end so you don't have to worry about him on the back end. That's why I said we won Tom. He's seven and all against the Cowboys. Right now, take him down, take him out, get him out the way while he's only averaging 18 points a game and you're averaging 32 points a game. This is the time to ask for Tom. You're going into a hostile environment. Yes, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have underachieved this year, but guess what? I just said they still have Tom Brady. Irv, you set him up for this. He's going to have a hell of a deck. Oh. You know, I think he's really going to get going. Um, you got to think, they had a, an extra week to prepare. They didn't even have to win the game last week. So going forward, they had a good running game last time they played. This is going to set up for success going forward. Well, M Michael Irvin bespoke the words, we want Tom. Yes, sir. That's Tom Stadium. Yes, sir. The problem is it's probably the worst situation you could play. A team who's kind of all year long in Tampa just stayed alive in a bad division, found a way to be at the top of that division. And, I, and oh, by the way, they have Tom Brady <laughs> and a lot of good players. It's like the worst situation. It's like, all right, here we are. We got our chance. We're going to get to go to the worst team of all the Evans teams we play. Evans and Godwin and Levante David and Vita Vea, just to name four off the top of my head. Exactly. Come on now! I'm going to the stuff right there! What do we got to do? It ain't that hard for us to fight harder, right? Let's fight! I believe we were going to see better than we did at times during the regular season. He ups his game in the playoffs. I believe some way, somehow, we're going to see a pretty good Tom Brady. Okay, so just to repeat, you want Tom because Tom is a shadow of his former self. And the Cowboys score a lot more. And I'm putting words in your mouth, and you need to now either agree or disagree. Well, I want you to get all that out, Rich. Give you time to get all that out. Okay. But the reality is, I, I don't know that Tom will form a, a you, shadow of his former self. Up I don't mind or? about that. I like the way Tom is. I like him just like you. And Tom, let me tell you something. Keep doing you today. Don't you let them freak trick don't. 18 points, Tom. That's all you put on the board. That's what you do. We appreciate you being who you are, Tom. And you had a great career. But we sending you home today. Yeah. He was just hyping him a few weeks ago with T.Y. Hilton. <laughs> We're sitting up here talking about Dak Prescott, and do we know who he's, who he's going against Monday night? He's going against the greatest of all time. So, who? Tom Brady, <laughs> okay, Mr. Fisher. Okay, okay. So, you know, so we're, we're sitting here talking about Dak Prescott and this thumb and, and last seven games having an interception. Sam, what did you say yesterday? Missed five games and still led the league in, in, in yes, interception? Yes, that can't be good. As, as, that's, that is not a winning formula. Mike Evans is back, so you might get some of that. He had three touchdowns against Carolina. Get ready, Irv. Huh? Get ready, Irv. Irv get ready. You got to cover the deep ball. <laughs> right, Rich? Take it. Besides Diggs for Dallas's defense, the other side for that corner has been a question mark all year. And you're going to play Tom Brady and a guy who has multiple receiver options where if you want to take Mike Evans, then somebody else is covering Godwin. I mean, it's just, it's it's probably the worst situation for them to have to open the playoffs with. And of course, I'm not picking Dallas. <laughs> Can you cover? That's going to be the question. No! Not even thinking about turning the ball over or even having um, mistakes of any of any sort. You buy it? Interceptions is a lot of interceptions for, I mean, it's a lot of interceptions. I've heard him say it multiple times when you see him, you see his attitude a little bit there, just sort of answering questions like, no, I'm not hurt. It's about risk reward. And I'm trying to grasp him because watching him, it looks like he's taking risks. So what do quarterbacks mean when they're talking about risk reward? Yeah, I don't like I don't like that at all that he says it. Yeah, you know, the way I that I would say it, if I was coaching him, I'm, I would say this. If you can throw the ball with conviction to your guy, throw it with conviction. But these throws where you're kind of like, oh, my arm might get hit, it might not. Like, take those out of the game. Like, take it, run, hit a check down, something else. Yeah, and that's, that's where he gets in trouble. That's what I want to see from that. I mean, know then when this is too risky. All right, and I've got a good defense, and I can run the football, 
and just take the sack or run for a couple yards. Uh, he says he's trying to do it, but he's failing at uh, understanding what risk versus reward is. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe as I post a new Tom Brady video every day.